let's go ahead and view what we've got so now that we have this there's a couple things that we can really do to make this much better and the first is if you look around the edge here I can go ahead and bring the dispill factor down to zero and you can see that there's this green here if I bring that back up to one that green actually turns into more of a brownish color that green comes from the green screen and that's what the despill factor spill is the green from the green screen the despill means that it will uh, take that green and make it into a gray or a brown the other thing that uh, I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and add in shift a a dilate a road node I'm gonna add that in after my key and uh, you can see that we have an issue here where everything went back to being black and gray and that's because what I need to do is put the matte socket here connect up the two matte sockets and then bring the image back to the image node and then this dilate I'll actually stick into the factor of our alpha over and then I'm going to shift D duplicate that and so now I have two dilate erode nodes this first one I'm going to change to feather and the second one I'm going to change to distance now if I go ahead and shift control shift click and look at this if I go ahead and bring this down to a let's say negative 20 to really see what's going on it really feathers the edge of my mask so I'm going to bring that maybe down to a negative three, not something too crazy. And then distance wise, I'm going to bring that down and you can see that that pulls in my mask as well to something like a negative two. And if I still feel like I want these edges to be softer, I can search for a blur node and stick that there at the end and blur my alpha by maybe five, maybe 25. That's my problem, there we go. Blur it by five. Okay, that looks pretty good. Now we can go ahead and see the change that's going on here. If I select all of these three nodes and hit M on the keyboard, you, we can see the difference. So we lose a little bit of definition but we, we get a smoother edge overall. Okay, let me go ahead and give myself some space here. Okay, last but not least, let's go ahead and make this look good. So the first thing that I'm gonna do is add in a blur node because the background doesn't look great and I'm just gonna go ahead and blur it. Um, let's see, maybe 30. Uh, that's a little too much, 20. A little more 25 and then I'm also going to add in a shift a and a transform and add in a transform node because right now it just looks like a background we need to make the background fit in with the video so I'm gonna scale this up Ooh, too much something like that and then I'm going to move it down in the Y so that the tables kind of look like they're in the right spot. And you can see that we have an issue going on here, so just scale it up a little bit more. Okay, so that's one thing we can do. The other thing we can do is search, add in a color balance node to our image that comes from our key. And we can try and color correct our footage here just a little bit to make it seem a little more like it's in the same room. And what that means is going ahead and just, the, the way that this works is the lift, the gamma, and the gain. The lift is your shadows, the gamma is your midtones, and the gain is your highlights. So I always start off with the gamma and kind of make that a little more orange. You have to be really careful not to overdo it something like that and if I select the node and hit M and turn it off and on you can see the difference it looks a little bit more like we're in the same warm lighting and then the other thing that I'm gonna do is hit shift A and add in a color correction node and this node is great for brightening or darkening your footage so I'm gonna play with the gain here and 
maybe make it a 1.1. .1. I'm gonna play with the gamma here and maybe make it a 1.5. Oh, much too much. Maybe I'll add in a little contrast. And I feel like this is just a hair too much. Okay, there we go. Now you can go ahead and export this. Just do it like we did before. Go ahead and navigate to wherever you want to save things and choose the file format. And then you can just import these as an image sequence into your Blender sequencer or whatever editing program you're using to edit. And you have a wonderful looking green screen removal. So I hope that this has been helpful. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you next time.